Welcome back, Misa Manchetti joining us from Manchetti Pharmacy with a very timely topic today. It's great to have you back. Thank you for having yes. me again. Yes, we are talking today about sunburn, something many of us can relate to. And if we're smart, we're putting on the right amount of sunscreen. But sometimes it gets away from us. And when it's 37 out, like it is right now, you've got to be really careful. Yes. Uh, overexposure of UV radiations uh, by sun can cause sunburn. And it doesn't have to be blistering or peeling to be called sunburn. Just if it is pink or red, right. it's considered sunburn. So then we're all dappling with a little bit of that at some point or another over the course of the summer. We don't intend to, but it, like I said, it gets away from us. The sunscreen washes off, you forget to reapply. You stay it a little longer than you should. It happens. So if a person gets sunburn, mm -hmm. um, let's say every two years, uh, they will have a triple chance of ca getting sun cancer. So wow. it is important not to get burnt. Prevention is the key. Yes. Uh, but if you find yourself uh, a little pinker than you should be after a day out on the water, we have some suggestions for you. Misa has sent uh, some boards and put them together. So let's talk about these. Sure. So uh, it's obvious, but uh, sometimes we may not know. Uh, we just want to go back and enjoy the sun more, but we need to get off the sun immediately. Uh, drink lots of water. 60% of our body is made of uh, water. So you need to, if someone gets, uh, you know, sunburned, they need to consume a lot of water during mm -hmm. the day to replenish that. Mm -hmm. uh, they can take anti-inflammatory such as ibuprofen and naproxen uh, every four to six hours to get rid of the inflammation, swelling, and pain. If it is really painful, they can combine with uh, acetaminophen. So you take one ibuprofen and one acetaminophen together every four to six hours. Perfect. Uh, because it's a different kind of a molecule. Okay. We don't like to peel or, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, poke the uh, blisters. Right. The reason is uh, it can cause infection and irritation, so we avoid that. Uh, bath and shower in cool water is good. Uh, and what we uh, prefer, if it is possible, you pad dry it, and then you put the moisturizer uh, uh, right away, mm -hmm. uh, because that way uh, it keeps the moist uh, uh, in, on the skin. Mm -hmm. um, so those are some of the uh, uh, suggestion we have. Okay. We go to the next. There's the next one. Yeah. So uh, some people, what they do, which is actually proven to be good, uh, they put a cup of uh, baking soda right inside the cold, uh, uh, cool bath, and that relieves the itchy and uh, the inflamed uh, skin. Uh, it will kind of gives a soothing effect. Okay. And when you come out, you can use a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Now you have to be careful what type of moisturizer you use. Aloe vera kind of uh, moisturizer are good. Glycerin, hyaluronic acids are good. Um, uh, Soy-based uh, uh, moisturizers are good. And we have to avoid uh, moisturizers that they have petroleum in it. Why is that? Uh, because it keeps the heat inside. Uh -huh. okay. It doesn't allow the heat to go out. Okay. It's just like a form of protection. Would butter be a petroleum? No, no butter. Yeah, that's right. It is. <laughs> no, you don't want to butter. Use it. Uh, some people use yogurt, which is okay mm -hmm. uh, because of the probiotics and also a little bit of uh, uh, oil in there is good. Okay. Uh, you can also, some people use milk on the towel to put it on. That's okay too, okay. but not butter. Nothing uh, petroleum based. Yeah, some, t some Vaseline is, has a petroleum uh -huh, base and uh -huh. you want to avoid that. Okay. Um, why is lidocaine and benzocaine, why is that bad? Again, it can cause allergic or irritation. Okay. So even though it can numb the pain, uh, we prefer not to use it. We can use menthol or camphor type of uh, anesthetics, uh, but we like to avoid benzocaine and lidocaine if it is possible. Okay. So you need to read the, read the ingredients. The ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and we also, you can use hydrocortisone, at least get the 1% one to get rid of the inflammation, swelling, mm -hmm. and irritation, and that works very well as well, too. And we also recommend cold compress. Mm -hmm. So basically, you get a towel, fill it up with uh, ice, and, uh, and you put it on for five minutes and repeat it throughout the day, and that has a soothing effect. Okay, we have one more board. 
hydration and lots of foods that have hydration in exactly. them. Exactly. Again, we talked about how we lose water. Mm -hmm. So anything that, any food that has water in it, such mm -hmm. as watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe is very good. Uh, uh, again, wear a loose, uh, breathable clothing because um, the, the skin is sensitive. You don't want to wear a jean, you know mm, what I mean, a tight now. jean, and it's, it's not good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, prevention is a key. Uh, uh, use a sunscreen. Uh, uh, avoid, uh, avoid or limit the sun between the 10 to 2 p.m. Absolutely, because that's uh, the strongest. It's the strongest. Uh -huh. uh, wear uh, maybe a longer sleeve or pants, uh, uh, maybe a hat, uh, sunscreen. Um, you stay in the shade and, um, and uh, be careful not to mm -hmm. burn. Uh, also, sometimes we need to see a physician, and the time that we see a physician, if we have a, um, you know, blisters, uh, we are uh, systemically sick, uh, we may also go see a physician and see if they mm -hmm. need any, uh, anything else mm -hmm. that a physician can help. Uh, we came up with this topic today, of course, because Misa has been seeing people come through his doors at the pharmacy with burns. How, how severe do you see? Are, are people... Yeah, we, I have seen blisters. I see a lot of very red, uh, you know, skin that people come in. Uh, as I said, that is considered, or pink, that's considered burnt. Mm -hmm. Many people, they don't realize it. They, they don't think that is the burn, but that is burnt. Um, a lot of people use different kind of home remedies uh, mm -hmm. before they come and see us. Uh, you just have to be careful if the skin is broken. Uh, anything you put on, make sure it's clean so you don't cause an infection. infection absolutely. Yeah. But, um, you know, different people put different thing on their skin. I've seen uh, there was someone was swear on it that it works. Uh, apple cider vinegar. I know it sounds like you don't want to put the acid. It sounds like it would hurt. Yeah, but it has a soothing effect apparently and you sprinkle it, uh, you know, you use a cold towel uh, mm -hmm. with the cold water and then you sprinkle some um, apple cider vinegar on it and you just dab it on the skin. Okay. Yeah, and, and it seems to be working as well too. There are a variety of things that is sure. out there that it can help. Again, you mentioned a statistic at the beginning of the segment that every time you burn, you have, how does that work again? So, uh, the statistic says if you burn every two years. Just uh, once? Once. And as I said, burn doesn't have to be blister or peeling uh, is um, pink or red, mm -hmm. that's considered burnt, uh, you triple chance of uh, getting a, a, a skin cancer, see, melanoma. Don't I look pink to you right now? Yes, see? yes, I see that. And this is upsetting for me because yeah. I was quite liberally applying my sunscreen uh, last week, but I mean, I wouldn't consider this a burn, but yet as you look at my arm, you can see it, it is, is pink. It is so, yeah. and you need to consider the duration, how long you've been there the fairness of your skin so the lighter you are you burn faster mm -hmm. and uh, you know the intensity of the sun so all of those are factor when you are going out there and uh, getting tan oh, better hit up the sunscreen twice as hard than me mm -hmm. thank you for being here thank today. you so much yeah great information today uh, don't take a chance uh, some things that don't feel like burns actually are i'm a living proof of that apparently manchettypharmacy.com you can also check out both locations one on the north shore and one on the south Shore. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.